Okay, I'm going to start by going to File and then Open Scene, and I'm going to open up the start file that I created in the previous tutorial. So here I have my front and side view images for the character that I'm going to model. To start, I'm going to go to my Polygons tab, and I'm going to click on this uh, button right here to create a polygon cube. I'll hit W, and I'll move this up. And now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to see through this cube to my reference image. So I'm going to go to Window, Rendering Editors, and then Hypershade. And I'm going to click on Lambert right here. And then I'll double click on Lambert 4. It's going to open it up in the Attribute Editor. And I'm going to choose a color. So let's say I'll do green. OK. And then I'm going to take the transparency and move this slider over so I can see through this material. So now I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button and drag this material onto my cube. So I'm going to go ahead and close my hypershade and select this cube. And I'm going to turn on my wireframe unshaded. That's this button right here. So now I can see the edges of the cube. So I'm going to tap the spacebar, and I'm going to take a look at my front and side view. And I can see I cannot see the reference image here. So I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard on each of these panels. And then I'm actually going to, let's turn off the grid on these. OK. All right, I'm going to move this cube down. And over here, I'm going to bring up my channel box. I'm going to click on this button right above this tiny little garbage can. Click on that until the channel box shows up. I'm going to click on Polycube 1 right here. I'm going to change the subdivisions width to 2. And then I'll press Return on the keyboard. All right, so let's take a look. I'm going to turn, actually, I'm going to turn my, um, my grid back on. And I do not have this image quite in the center. So I'm going to go over here to my reference um, layer right here. I'm going to uncheck the R. I'm going to select this plane. I'm just going to move it over slightly so that it's right in the center. So I'm looking at this line right here, and I want it right in between the legs. So I'll, turn the, I'll click on this empty box right here to turn the reference back on. And all right, we're ready to go. So I'm going to right click and go to vertex. I'll select these vertices. I'm going to press R and scale them out. I'm just going to line up these vertices with my reference image. I'm going to go over here to my side panel. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to scale this out. And I'll just select these vertices here and move these out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go to my perspective panel here. I'll press Q, right click, go to face. I'm going to select the two faces on the top right here. And I'm going to go up here to my shelf and hit the extrude button. And I'll go up. And I'll use this uh, red box and scale out. I'll tap the space bar. Go over here to the side panel, use the green box, and scale out. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, select the vert vertices on the edge on this side, and just move them over. Actually, I'm going to move this down a little bit and line it up with the collar. All right. So I'm going to select the two faces on the bottom here. And I'm going to hit the extrude button and go down. And then I'm going to scale this in. I'm going to scale in until the faces line up with this short little line right here. I'm going to scale in on the side panel right here. OK, I think that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to select the two faces at the top here. And let's extrude up. So I'll click on the Extrude button right here and go up. 
and right click go to vertex and I'm actually going to scale these back together so that they're straight move this out bring this down a little bit so I'm going to go to my uh, perspective panel here select these two faces and go back to my side panel hit extrude and I'm going to go up and then I'm just going to click on this little red box right here and then I'm going to scale these in so scale in here and here and now I'm going to go to edit mesh and then go to insert edge loop tool I'll insert an edge loop right here press R scale that out double click on this edge loop and I'm going to scale this out along X double click on this edge loop scale this out along X the top here let's see what we have um, it looks okay for now I think so what I have basically is just the rough box shape of the cat's head and body so from here what I can do is I can select all the faces on the left side here and then delete them and I'm gonna go to window rendering editors and hypershade because I'm not really feeling this green color so I'm gonna double click on it I'm gonna change this green color to blue and I'm gonna take the transparency and move it up a little bit here alright so I'm gonna right click on this object here on my uh, geometry and go to object mode I'll select that object I'm gonna go up to edit and then go down to duplicate special and go over to the little options box that's right here under the duplicate special options I'm gonna choose instance and then for scale on the first box you want to type in negative one what that's gonna do is that's gonna duplicate this model along the x-axis so it's going to flip it to this side the instance will allow me to um, mirror whatever I modify on this side will mirror to the other side so make sure you have instance make sure you have negative one in this first box under scale and then hit duplicate special now I'll go to the original model here and I'm going to go to face select this face I'll go to the front panel and hit extrude hit W and I'm going to go straight down and then I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale this in I'm going to move it back up a little bit here so it's mirroring uh, across the x-axis you can see it's mirroring on this side so now uh, let's see I'm going to make an adjustment here I want to get this edge so I'll select this edge and scale it in and what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get a square shape here I want roughly a square and so what that means is I'm gonna to have to take the vertices here and push them in and take these and move them out a little bit and I'm gonna go and check this again now I'm lining up with my front panel here but now I've lost my square shape over here so what I'll probably do is just select this face hit R and I'm gonna scale this in a little bit more like so and so that's changing the shape of the leg right here but I'm not going to worry about it too much I do want to select this edge right here and scale that in a little bit alright so I'm going to select this face right here so, and uh, now we'll extrude down some more so 
I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to go down, and I'm actually going to go all the way down to the top of the foot. And I'll scale this in, move it over. Now, I'm going to check and make sure I have, once again, I want that square image. So I'm going to try and get the square. And then I have to push this back a little bit. All right, so I'm going to move the leg back a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my perspective panel, select the edge loop at the beginning of the leg. And I want to just scale it up on X, actually on all the axes. Just scale it up a little bit so it's a little bit closer to matching up with the reference image. And then I'm going to right click, go to edge, I'm going to take this edge and push this in. Push this down and in. Okay, so now I'm going to select this face right down here, and we're going to extrude down for the feet. So I'm going to hit extrude, go straight down. I want to take this face and move it to the right a little bit so that it lines up more with my reference image. And then I'm going to right click, go to face, and select these two faces. I'll hit extrude and go out. And then I'm going to scale them using this red box. Scale them in a little bit. And then I'm going to go to face, select, select these front faces right here. Hit extrude and go out. I'll go to my side panel. Right click, go to vertex, select all the vertices on the top here, go down, and then I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, insert an edge loop right here. I'm going to hit Q, go to Vertex, and I'll move these up and then move these down. All right, I'm going to add another edge loop. So I'm going to go to Insert Edge Loop Tool, and I'll add an edge loop right here. And I'm going to hit R and scale this edge loop out. Kind of round out the foot a little bit. And then I'm going to right click, go to Face, select all the faces in the front of the foot. Make sure I have everything selected. And I'm going to go to edge here and select these two edges and just push them in a little bit so they don't touch. So I like this edge and push that out. And then we'll scale it in a little bit. So now I'm going to select all the faces on the back here. Hit extrude, push those out, and then I'll click on this little blue box right here. And then I'll move and I'll click and drag on this light blue box to scale this in. I'll right click, go to edge, select this edge, hit R, scale that in. And I'm going to go select four vertices on the co on the corner of this section here. Scale those in. I'll go to edge, select this last edge right here, and move that back. All right, I think this is a good stopping point. So go ahead and save your work. I'm going to save mine. I'll go to File, Save Scene As. We'll call this 
stage 01. And I'll hit save as. And we'll continue this modeling process in the next tutorial.